These are some life hacks for all the lazy girls who do minimal effort in every aspect of life. Be sure to subscribe and we can be besties. And yeah, let's go. This is for the makeup girlies who never wash their makeup sponges. <laughs> wash it maybe once a year. Girl, at least wash it once a month, minimum. Anyways, all you gotta do is use dish soap or regular hand soap, get some warm water, and then apparently you can microwave that for a minute and it cleans it? I haven't tried that. What I do is I just go to my bathroom sink, I get a little hand soap, put a couple pumps on the sponge, I scrub that under the running water. That works good too, but I guess this is a little less manual labor. <laughs> Being sarcastic on a regular basis can add up to three years to your life. Sarcasm is extremely healthy for the mind. That is me. I am sarcasm. I can't say a single thing without sounding sarcastic. So yeah, the more attitude, the better. <laughs> DIY body scrub. Ooh, and it looks like this is gonna make you smell good too. You just mix some honey, olive oil, and brown sugar. The exact measurements are down at the bottom, but I don't think it has to be that exact. I just buy my body scrubs from Ulta. I feel like that's a lot easier than making your own. <laughs> Boy razors do more work than girl razors. That is so true. They work so much better. Without all that crap around the two razors for sensitive skin, I have to shave my entire leg like three to four times to get it as smooth as I want. But with the boy razor, I just have to do it once. And I recommend shaving oil instead of shaving cream. It's more moisturizing and you get a closer shave in my opinion. Easier way to get a winged liner look. We all struggle with this. <laughs> and when you mess it up, you keep adding more to fix it and it gets so much worse. Use a credit card apparently. It doesn't have to be a credit card. It can be any solid thing that can make a straight line like that. And I don't wanna ruin my credit card by getting eyeliner all over it. So yeah, find something else solid. <laughs> I don't recommend tape because that moves and it's not like clean. But yeah, I don't even use eyeliner anymore. I just use eyeshadow and a very thin brush and that works wonders. Freeze fruit, it makes a really nice snack. If you wanna eat healthier, but you really don't like the taste of fresh fruit, freeze it and even add a little honey on it and if that's not sweet enough for you, you can even drizzle a little sugar on top, but the honey should be enough. It's really tasty. I like freezing blueberries because it totally takes away the flavor and it's just sweet. <laughs> DIY hot pack. This is for the cramps, girls. You use rice and you put that in a sock and you just microwave it. So you don't have to pay 40 bucks for the unicorn heating pack that doesn't last more than a couple months. Don't wash your hair every day. It's drying. <laughs> there are some good oils in your hair that you don't need to wash out every day. Get a really good deep conditioner that you leave in for like five to 10 minutes and do that maybe once or twice a week. Do not wash your hair more than that. It's better for your hair and it's so much less work not to wash your hair every day. Cause I have like a 20 step routine I have to do. So this is much easier. Rinse your conditioner out with cold water. Hot water dries your hair. And if you dye your hair any unnatural colors, the hot water washes it out a lot quicker than cold water. Put your necklace through a straw to keep the chain untangled. I do not have enough room in my jewelry box for all these straws. <laughs> and that just looks weird. Manicure tip. Just put some school grade glue around your nail and when you're done, you just peel it off. That still looks kind of messy. In school, I would just put the glue all over my hand and wait for it to dry and then just peel it off like it's a layer of skin and I'm a lizard shedding. <laughs> I don't know why. Liquid eyeliner pin trick to get twice as much. Apparently you just need to flip it and I guess that's where the rest of it is. We have been scammed for so long. Put clear nail polish on the inside of your rings so you don't get that annoying green stain on your skin. That also depends on the quality of your jewelry cause super high end jewelry isn't gonna stain you like that, but who can afford thousand dollar rings? So yeah, try this and comment below if it works. Cover your roots with some eyeshadow or bronzer. Well, that depends on your hair color. I don't think there's blonde bronzer. Girl, 
Look at all these roots. That's a lot of product. I guess this can work for darker hair colors. Two ingredients, simple teeth whitening solution. Yeah, because most of those teeth whitening toothpaste do not work. And when I did do professional whitening stuff, it made my teeth super sensitive. So apparently you just need to mix baking soda and lemon. So someone try it, let me know. <laughs> because I drink coffee every single day and I have to fight stains all the time. Remove deodorant stains with dryer sheets or pantyhose. Dryer sheets also work really well for getting static out of your hair. Put baking soda in your flats to avoid smelly shoes. This is for all the dudes with their nasty gym shoes just laying in their closet, not being washed ever. It smells so bad. But yeah, apparently baking soda just absorbs bacteria, which contributes to smell. Girls, hair straighteners are a really good iron in a pinch, especially if you're traveling and there's no clothes iron just laying around. Use your straightener. If you don't have that, then turn your shower on super hot, fill your bathroom with steam, and hang up your clothes in the room. That will de-wrinkle them just a little bit. Run your mascara wand under hot water for easier application. Do you mean like get it wet and then dip it in? Huh, I don't know about this one. And apparently you're not supposed to pump it, you know, like we usually do to get more product on it. You're just supposed to twist it. I tried that and I think it worked. I'm sorry, I don't remember, I did it weeks ago. <laughs> Use ice cubes to remove gum from your hair. I remember when that happened, my brother was sitting on the couch above me. I was sitting on the floor below him. He was chewing gum and it just fell out of his mouth onto my head. My mom used an entire jar of peanut butter trying to get it out of my hair. It took forever. So maybe this is easier than peanut butter. Wear loose ponytails to avoid bald spots. No. I look like a pilgrim man about to build a cabin for his starving family. If you don't have a fan brush, I need to try this. I don't have a fan brush, so I use one of my regular brushes and I pinch it so it's thinner so I can do contour. This one's gonna help me out so much. <laughs> Create perfect polka dot designs with a bobby pin. I think I tried this and it doesn't come out super clean because with those big globs of nail polish, it takes forever to dry. Oh my God, this reminds me of Crackle nail polish. That nail polish had a chokehold on me in middle school. Do y'all remember that? It was my favorite thing. Use a rubber band to create custom French tips. You're laying it on a little too thick, honey, but I get the concept. I had to stop going to nail salons because if you don't do gel, they do not care. They just get you in and out the door so they can get another high paying customer in quicker. But anyways, that's it for some life hacks for the lazy girls. Comment below which one you're gonna try. I'm sure to subscribe, like, and share this video. I really appreciate it and I'll see you tomorrow.